Aloha, this is Kathy Becklin. Happy 4th of July. And before I go out looking at some fireworks, I am going to talk a little bit about what $100,000 can buy you here in Maui, or more likely, what it can't. So, um, first of all, I ran a list. There's 30 active listings that are under 100000 in Maui County. And they are all condos, no surprise. About 75% of them are REO bank owned or, or short sales. Um, so let's then look at what some of the other major distinguishing characters. I'm going to look at the properties, so hang on. This list is on my website, the Maui Minute. The number one thing to look for first off is, is it a leasehold property? Leasehold is fairly unique to, to Maui and it's not a lot of our properties, but it is a lot in when you're looking at the low prices. Um, leasehold basically means you don't own the land and you have to pay an additional land lease on top of your condo maintenance fees. For example, this leasehold property is um, listed for just $14,900. You have a condo maintenance fees of just over $450 and a lease fee of $422 a month. Now, FA, this fee available, means that you can buy the fee simple status, make it a normal, but that costs you an additional $242,000 or approximately $900 in interest per month if you do get a mortgage on that amount. You've got to look at the overall cost of ownership. Number two, as we look through the different properties, um, they all, all except for one, were built before 1979. So they are older properties, a little less desirable. Uh, number three is that the maintenance fees at the condo units are most, 20 out of the 30, have maintenance fees over $500 a month pretty significant. You have to ask, is it mismanaged? Is it just because it's an older property? Some of these do include electricity and you have to look at all that whole cost of ownership. I'm going to take a quick look up here to the Kahului. These are all Harbor Lights properties. Here's one listed for $26,000. Two bedrooms, two baths, ocean view. What's wrong with it? Um, well, if you take, oops, how about that one? Um, you take a look at it, it's not in too bad a shape. It does say it needs some TLC. But th again, these, these um, maintenance fees are $668. My perception, it doesn't. It does include electricity, but it, they don't allow AC there. What I think it pays for, the large fees pay for the large security guards. I don't think you want to go there. So down here are the number four. Um, four out of the 30 um, are on Molokai or Lanai. These are our rem more remote islands um, and it's some beautiful properties there for the person who just wants to really get away. You don't have all the tons of restaurants and stuff uh, um, when you're on Molokai or Lanai. Number five is just the overall condition of the property. If there's no indoor photos, red flag, red flag. If you don't see appliances or it says it's under construction, you're not going to get lending on that property. You have to bring cash. Um, another thing to note is if it is bank owned on, and on some short sales, the buyer may have to pay up to 12 months in back maintenance fees. So that can be an add-on to your purchase price. So summing up here, if, are there any properties here that don't fit some of these criteria? Uh, there actually is one. It's this nice little bank-owned condo um, listed for $72.5, but it is little. If you like 357 square feet studio, that's the one for you. That's all for now. Talk to you soon.